different. It looks like he's playing Koji. That's that's wild. You know, yeah. I feel like Wes has got the advantage here statistics wise. Uh, but I kind of fell in love with Lopez's gameplay in the doubles tournament in the in the BCX doubles for South America. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and Lopez, oh, Lopez is going with Jayun. He played it in the winner's bracket. He did not play it in doubles. It's a little surprising to see him on it in singles, but looks like he knows what he's doing. Wesley picking Koji, hmm, that's, that is very different. Has he played Koji at all through this tournament? This seems like a very direct anti-Lopez pick here. I think it is, because I'm looking through all the past matches. We've got a ton of Olgrim. We have the Princess Bubblegum. There's some Thor in there. And, uh... Yeah, okay. right now, it no way. Like it's oh just my the right goodness. Answer. <laughs> Wesley, how did that even <laughs> yes. That was a that was a that was something else. He's wild. He's absolutely <laughs> wild. I can't believe that landed. Lopez must be kicking himself right now. I've been there. You know, you mess up an easy punish fall into a charge signature. At that point, all Wesley could do is wait and hope, right? And, yeah. it, and it worked. It worked out. I don't think you can count on that one happening again. He got out of that one, luckily. Sometimes, you know, sunk cost might be a fallacy, but, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah, at that point, he went in for the pound, big time. Oh, oh. nice combo. Yeah, bouncing him off the ground there, slicing off the top. Wesley did build himself a little bit of a lead, but Lopez can erase that if he gets just the proper dodge read. That's true. Yeah, you're never oh really my, are, safe here. Are you oh serious? my goodness. He charged it a good bit there. It wasn't quite uh, like the last time, but. Oh my. Wesley <laughs> is going for hard reads now. He's decided that he needs to be inside Lopez's head to win this game. Oh, I mean, nice. it looks like he's already there. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's renting space in Lopez's brain. He's moved in, first and Lopez. last deposit already <laughs> done. Yeah, and Lopez really doesn't like him uh, taking up shop in there. Lopez down to his final stock now. Wesley, he's he's pretty, pretty healthy on this second stock. He, he can make a few mistakes here and still come out on top. So let's see if Lopez will equalize or Wesley will push his lead even further. Oh, Ooh, Lopez. man, looking good for Lopez. Wesley's barely even gotten a word in edgewise Pocket off save. the side. That's not enough. Lopez looking for the finisher. Whoa. Wow, he goes for it. And Wesley, really nice dodge, managing to stay alive through that ground pound. Yeah, it's like a little earlier or a little later, and he would have just been done. Now we've got a classic sword duel here. Of which Sabres Wesley seems dawn. to be winning. Oh, but here comes Lopez. A beautiful three-piece for the finish. Taking right, Wesley so down to his final stock. Yeah, he's set himself up here nicely. He's got the great sword, Wesley, coming in. That respawn and vulnerability has gone. Oh, got the Ooh. dodge read a little bit. Little bit. Little bit. 1.5 seconds. Oh, Ooh. whoa, Wesley! <laughs> All right, wow. that was one of the most efficient knockouts I I've have never ever seen. I've never seen that. When he got hit, he flashed orange. So he wasn't even full red yet. <laughs> That let's, was wild. Let's see that one again. Okay, well, we got this kill. Okay, next one. Look at this. Look at this. What in the world, dude? That was like a true combo. Off the side. Slide out. Oh, he used oh. the built-in movement with the roll on that side signature to fall off the side. It wasn't so much a slide charge as it was a, a fall off. A tactical yeah. fall. <laughs> you know, you just got to tuck and roll. That's right. He tucked and rolled, dude, when it mattered most. And now Wesley's up a game here in this set. So we are swapping over to Demon Island. The walls are going to be a lot shorter. So those offstage interactions that they've already had, we're going to see even more of those. I think, you know, Wesley's probably going to pressure a lot of those edge guards. You know, I got to say, for the longest time, we've been watching Wesley compete in South American tournaments. Uh oh, wait, hold on. He might be in trouble here. Ooh, that's all he had left. No, what a madman. He, oh, oh my goodness. I don't. I think I knew his jump count better than he did there. He, he, I can't believe he still went out for more without resetting his jumps. He had nothing left. Lopez kept knocking him out. Oh my goodness. 
Well, I was going to talk about how much Wesley impresses me with his ability, <laughs> you know. Oh, oh, my God, Wesley. That was, that was I, all right. I felt that one. What a way that to one turn hurt it around. me. The bow ground was... pound, it's so incredibly strong, even just normally. <laughs> but hitting it that low, I don't care this, what damage no, yeah. you're at. You're gone. He could have been at white. He could have been untouched, and that still would have killed with where Wesley landed at. Unbelievable. Ooh. Holy cow. All right. You know, as I was saying, wait, another, every time I try to bring it up, a kill happens. Come on, Wesley. <laughs> let's get back to the stage here. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, okay, so we've seen Wesley competing for a long time this year, and it's al almost always been on Lance, right? A lot Ooh. of a lot of uh, uh, Ulgrim from Wesley throughout the year. Right. And that gave me the impression that Wesley is a bit of a one trick, right? He's all about the Lance. He does well with the Lance, and without the Lance, he's not going to do so well. But I could not be more wrong, dude. He's here doing it with Koji now. Before that, what was it? Princess Bubblegum. He's brought out Thor. It's like every weapon he's actually a master with. Yeah, and I he's thought gotta, he was just a Lance player. That's I was damn incorrect. He is that's what I was looking at too. But man, this Koji, it's been doing work. However, it does have to do quite a bit more to bring back this match. Lopez has been really catching these dodges and turning it into maximum punishes. Yeah, as good as that ground pound kill was, Wesley still is at a major deficit here that could get worse. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness, Wesley's movement is unbelievable. I think, uh oh, uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. That far off the side, pocket sand. Big so Lopez time. in decisive fashion, tying up the set. I think it was a lot of, you know, he was just starting to key in on where Wesley likes to dodge. The first game, Lopez wasn't really able to get any extended chains from the great sword or even strings from the sword. Here, he seemed to catch so many dodges and turn them into maximum conversions every single time. Yeah, yeah. Lopez is dialing in onto Wesley's dodging habits. The, the, how how he reacts out of hit stun makes all the difference. If you get that read on Great Sword, you can make a lot happen. Oh yeah. So now but we without see that read, <laughs> not so yeah, great. Yeah. Well, Demon Island is out of here. So Lopez opting for the stage closest in flavor. We're going over to Apocalypse. Better than Demon Island, uh, for Wesley anyway, uh, there's less runway here for Lopez to get going with the Greatsword Strings. Oh yeah, and that soft platform up top gives him somewhere else to land that's not just all this flat ground Ooh, that Lopez can catch use these. so well. Yeah, he is catching these dodges like crazy now. Again, okay. Man, we were talking game one about Wesley living oh. in Lopez's head. Lopez just hit him with the deed, saying, nah, nah, I got this. Oh, why? The Again? delay? Lo Wesley dodges away, and Lopez catches him with the downlight finisher, which reaches forward just far enough to land the hit on that dodge away. Whoa, Wesley's running away with this now. I mean, De Lopez. Lopez is running away with this now. Wesley's yeah, running no away kidding. from Lopez. <laughs> I mean, listen, oh, he's got a Lopez again. even spacing out those arrow shots. He got in front of it once. He got behind oh. it the other time. He is just cutting up Wesley. No recourse. Oh, my goodness. This is brutal. One minute in, Wesley's lost two stocks. It looks like Wesley... I don't know, He's got to change I, something. I don't, yeah, I don't know what it is. It's, he might be defeated mentally at this point. Wes, Wes Lopez just seems to be... In his head, everything is working. Oh, never mind. Wesley's not giving up here. Look at this. Oh, he was just over the side. Doesn't matter. He caught him Let's with the go. side signature. Wesley's got to play a, a perfect stock just to catch up. A perfect stock. This is certainly going to be a tall order. Lopez really hunting for these dodges. Oh, yo, nice. let's go, Wesley. Yeah, that was nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Wesley, Man, yeah, Wesley dodged pretty early there, and it, it was looking like go time for Lopez, but Wesley still managed to make it up over the stage. Ooh, I like Wesley. You know, he's noting that Lopez is looking for a lot of these dodges, so now oh. he's just walking or jumping out of these chain resets. 
Oh, are you serious? Downlight into pocket sand. Wesley could make it back, but <gasps> wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was actually 4D chess they were playing. Yeah, it actually was. Because at that point, Wesley, he needed to land a chase dodge to make it back. He could have just dodged back to the stage, but Lopez was in position for a checkmate ground pound. So Wesley tries to do something that baits out a way for him to get the chase dodge. Lopez, realizing he was in, realizing what the situation creates here, he just ground pounds and he finishes himself. He knows he's a stock ahead. Don't give Wesley the ground pound chase dodge. Hilarious, yep. dude. That's hilarious. That was such a <laughs> smart finish. Like, actual big brain plays. So that puts Lopez up 2-1 in the set now. Wes, I, I wonder, is he going to be shopping around? Is it time to bench the Koji and bring Dude, in something it's time to bring out the class. It's time for Ulgrim. You can't, you can't go out. This, this could be his last game of 2020. And he can't go out not playing his tried and true. The, the character that got him this far. You know? Yeah, I'm expecting some sort of change. I'm just not entirely yeah. sure. Is it the return to Ulgrim? Is he bringing out the Princess Bubblegum Bu again? <laughs> Bubblegum you know, would be great. You know, the Vrax signatures have a lot of range on them, and they're really fast. Um, they That will beat the Greatsword before Greatsword could even do anything about it, you know? Right. And, but that's a play style we've like never seen Wesley use before. I, would, I don't oh. know if it would work out. But Bryn. It's going to be the Bryn. Taking one out of I don't know what to think about this. To go for the dex. So he's going to have the spear. He's got the axe. You know, those are pretty long-range weapons all said and done. But I think it's yeah. really, you know, Bryn just has great signatures for scoring knockouts. Three, two, one, mm, we'll see how this goes. I mean, at this point, I know better than to doubt Wesley. I, I'm sure he's just also a master of Bryn in addition to all the other characters he's masterful at. Yeah, I mean, so... That long time play of Olgrim, that gives him the axe. The spear, a little bit more of a question mark. So I'm very curious to see what happens when he swaps over to that. Ooh. Good start already for Wesley here. Uh oh, Lopez gets the starter but cannot continue on Wesley. Wesley doing a great job getting out of these great sword strings before they come too bad as oh, soon as geez. i say that though as soon as i say that lopez catches his dodge and finishes him for it yeah that's the thing they were kind of trading blow for blow but a lot of wesley's were those mid-range weapon tosses which all said and done they don't do that much damage just in the single digits at best oh no Oh, off the side. Wesley's got an opportunity here. Oh, this is it. Oh, and Wesley covers himself with a weapon throw. He had nothing left. Wesley had the opportunity, and Lopez still managed to get back safely. Wesley taking out Lopez's first stock here, but he is pretty far behind. And again, Lopez is on match point. Yeah, that's the thing. Wesley, to hope about continuing on in the tournament. He's got to win these next two oh. games with one stock to do it with? That's that's going to be rough. My goodness. Lopez almost lapping him. That is such a lead. Yeah, the, man. Demon Island is exactly where Lopez wanted to go. When, when Wesley didn't ban it out, Lopez was like, jackpot. Because <laughs> he oh, yeah. he's scoring kills the same way. He gets him. He's, he's gets him into orange. Gets him near the edge, and if he can get that downlight finisher combo, it might just be over. And Wesley's done. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Lopez wins the match, and will move on to the loser semifinal, where Fiend is waiting for him. Wesley Man. out of the tournament in fifth place. Incredibly well played by Wesley, but I gotta give it up, Lopez, with those, especially the Demon Island map picks. I mean, he used that for maximum effectiveness, and we saw every game that was there, it was just so dominantly in favor of Lopez, and as he got better and a little bit more adapted to all the different dodge directions that Wesley was prone to, he yep. really just turned on the gas. So now we've got our top four here, LX and DB, 
Fiend and Lopez. That is your South America <laughs> top four for BCX.